Can you remember that incredible heart-stopping moment when you first let her know that you were in love with her? Yeah. I was a little drunk at the time, which helps. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, no, I, um, it, was at a, it was at a dinner party, and uh, I actually kind of told her, because we were still working on the series, and, of course, the, the cardinal sin in a series where sexual tension is a requirement is to ever, ever say that you have real feelings because that sexual tension will go. But I, uh, so I remember telling you I had a crush on her. I said, I'm really sorry, I got a crush on her. And of course, I was madly in love with her. I said, I have a crush on you, I'll get over it. And, and I didn't even look at her because I was ready. I remember hearing her saying, oh, I like that. And I said, what? And she said, oh, I've got a crush on you too. And I was, it was a thrilling moment. Now, you, you've got a new film coming out, Van Helsing, in which you, uh, you're hunting amongst yes. others Dracula and Frankenstein. Uh, it sounds like a, a yeah. pretty exciting film. We'll see a clip here. Kill them. <gasps> I'm here to help you. I don't need any help. Really? I've read that on the set of Van Helsing, part of what you've been doing, you've actually been knocking over lots of old, innocent Hungarian people. Is that right? <laughs> the, uh, the Czech Republic extras happened to be taken from a homeless shelter, and they played the peasants, and they were, they were brilliant, by the way. And it's, it's kind of great for them, because these guys and girls, they get 40 or 50 days work a year now, because of the film industry booming there. And I tell you, they are brilliant actors. They invest everything into there, they, and they don't want to get fired. They do everything, you know. And uh, so these turn-of-the-century peasants looked incredibly real, by the way. And there's this one scene where the brides are attacking, and, and there's this big melee going on in the village, and I'm running forward, and I have to run and grab onto the legs of this of Kate Beckinsale, who's being dragged off by a wire. So it's very important. I'm staying focused, and this guy runs in front of me. He must have been no more than five foot tall and weighing about three stone, I think. And I put my hand in front of him, and I just felt him crumple. It must, it's what Joanna Loma must feel like whenever he, someone comes to tackle him. It just, this guy just went, you know. And as I continued on with the take, because <laughs> of course, <Yes. laughs> that sounds terrible, doesn't it? As I continued on with the take, I, uh, I was thinking, I think that guy's in a bad way. I think he must have, I, I felt like he broke at least something. So I went to try and find him, and the poor guy was running away from me. I mean, he was, uh, he was, he was terrified that the big Hollywood star was going to come and fire him and he was going to lose his job, you know. And of course, I just wanted to go and apologize for him, and he ended up, he'd broken his arm, you know. So he didn't, uh, it was, so yeah. yeah and then, yeah. Uh, in fact, in the course of that day, I knocked over old women. Broke a guy's hand, kids, I knocked them all over. And I, I said, you know what, if you cut this the right way, you could make me the most unlikable hero in movie history. Hugh, look, it, great talking to you. Well, Congratulations on your success. Thanks, it's, it's fantastic to see that for everything you've done, you haven't got a big head. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, mate. Good on you. Thanks, Hugh Jackman.